is good youtube krishan checking back in with another video let's start today's video off with a recent update from the mutant nick walker at five weeks out from the mr olympia and nick is looking insane somehow he has managed to improve his side chest pose and i think nick already had one of the best side chest in bodybuilding alongside samson data of course and i'm curious to know what did nick train today because he looks pumped up pretty much everywhere and at five weeks out nick walker is still massive probably in the low 270s or the high 260s and conditioning also looks pretty good it's possible we see the best nick walker at this year's O. now i did briefly want to talk about this update of samson data showcasing his side leg which is just ridiculous as i said i believe samson and nick have the best size shots in bodybuilding right now and there's a lot of people that think Samson can come in and win this year's show. And I want to showcase Samson's 2023 Arnold Classic package just to remind a few people how impressive he was at this show. And he's probably going to be even better than this at this year's Olympia. I'm really looking forward to the conditioning from Samson Dowda. If Samson can bring conditioning even better than the Arnold, his chances are even higher of moving up. And let's switch over to a recent update of Derek Lunsford. I grabbed this update from his YouTube channel. I will put the link in the description below. And again, if you guys are not watching Derek's YouTube videos, you are definitely missing out. But if Samson and Nick want to move up at this year's Olympia, they have to get through Derek Lunsford first. And Derek has been posting mind-blowing updates every single week headed into this year's Olympia. In his open Olympia debut, he was second place. With a full year off, I mean, we can only hope that Derek is going to move up or maintain that second place spot. Now, let's take a look at the competitors list for the 2023 Legion Sports Fest. So, starting from the top of the list, we have Vitor Boff, who just competed at the France Pro. Vitor slipped down a little bit in placings. Hopefully, he's better at Legion. We have Mohamed L.A. Mom, coached by Milos. I haven't seen this guy on stage in a little while. We have Charles Griffin who I think is going to be the guy to beat at this show. And despite Charles tearing his pick earlier in the year, based off his recent updates, it's possible that Charles Griffin brings his best to this show. I wonder how he's going to look in like the front double and the side chest and how much an effect will that pick to have on those shots, if any. And we also have Dorian Haywood. I believe Dorian is a guy that could finish in the top six here. We also have John Jewett. I've been looking at John very closely going into this show, even though he's making his open debut. I believe John can possibly place his highest second at this show. I think this show can come down to Charles Griffin and John Jewett. I think John is that good. And Justin Rodriguez will also be competing at Legion. If this was the Justin from the Boston Pro or the 2022 Arnold Classic, I would definitely predict him to win. But I'm not sure which version of Justin is going to show up. And Joel Thomas will also be competing at Legion. Joel has won pro shows. He's been at the Mr. Olympia. This is not a guy you want to overlook in this lineup. But I think the Legion Sports Fest is going to be a pretty good show. What do you guys think? Now, I also wanted to briefly talk about the Classic Physique Division, which should be very exciting. We have the two best posers in bodybuilding going head to head at the Legion Sports Fest. And not only do we have Terrence versus Logan Franklin, but Kyron Holden, who has been a top placer in the men's physique Olympia for years, is making his classic physique debut at the Legion Sports Fest. And I'm just gonna say best of luck to Kyron Holden. He just won a show and qualified for the Olympia in men's physique. So he'll be at the Olympia regardless. And in the next update of the day, we have a recent update from Tony O'Burton. And it looks like Tonio is somewhat pulling a vacuum in this front double. I think it makes this shot look a lot better for him. And of course, Tonio is gunning for a top 10 spot at this year's Olympia. And I'm really excited to see how is Tonio going to stack up to some guys that are a little bit bigger than him. I think Tonio really just needs more size. He has great shape, great structure, incredible back 3D also brings the conditioning. If this guy can stack on a little bit more size slowly, he's going to be very competitive. And let's not forget, just a year or two ago, Tony O'Burton was competing in the 212 division. And let's switch over to some classic physique. Wesley Vissers uploaded an HD video of him from the Dubai Pro. Wesley finished third in their lineup behind Terrence and Fabio, but still one of the most classic guys in the lineup. Take a look at how he transitions into this classic pose. Just... 
incredible. But this was a very good version of Wesley Vissers. I think he could have been a tad sharper here. But hopefully Wesley is even better at the Olympia and improves on the 8th place placing from last year. Now I want to switch over to Andrea Shaw, who is just absolutely dominating women's bodybuilding. Andrea Shaw wins another Rising Phoenix title and is only 5 weeks out from potentially winning her 3rd Miss Olympia title. We're looking at someone that can hold the Olympia title for a very, very long time. Congratulations to Andrea. But let's go ahead and wrap up today's video here with the archive of the day. You guys let me know in the comment section below who is this bodybuilder. And as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.